only on NBC 15. Her father says it was a tragic loss for their family and a whole community in South Central Wisconsin. 16-year-old Anna Block took her own life after being bullied online. But as NBC 15's Lindsay Branwall shows us, the community loved Anna and hopes to keep her name alive. Yes, there's lots of smiles. Four days after her birthday. Well, Anna had uh, just turned 16 years old on uh, June 11th. An athletic, caring teen. Just uh, coming up on four months and a couple days here and gonna miss her forever. Committed suicide. If you lose someone like this, it's, it's so random, so crazy. It doesn't make any sense. We're, I mean, we've been trying to figure it out and we'll never know. Her parents believe cyberbullying is what led to the tragedy. We didn't realize that it was going on um, until after Anna's suicide. Once we started going through her uh, smartphone and um, computer and stuff. Anna's cross country coach and fifth grade teacher, Andy Sherman, knew her since she was little. I think back what would have happened if one of us would have just contacted her, talked to her. Um, two days, one day, you know, an hour before this happened. Would, would the result be different than it is now? He says the team has worked the whole year together to support each other through the grief. And so they really asked if we could honor Anna through this meet. This Saturday's conference meet at Devil's Head Resort, T-shirts in Anna's honor and concession proceeds will go to a nonprofit group for suicide prevention. And so I hope that maybe through you know just our small gesture of a cross-country meet, making some T-shirts and you know, saying a few words about a teammate that we lost, maybe that will, at least with the people that are there on Saturday, make a, make a difference. She'll always be in our hearts and in our minds. And In Prairie de Sac, Lindsay shirt. Branwell. She is my guardian angel. NBC 15 News. And Anna was also part of the gymnastics team at Sauk Prairie. The cross-country team invited the gymnastics team to honor Anna this weekend, too. They'll be selling concessions at the meet and will also be saying a few words in Anna's honor.